What's going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the best season 12 settings to use for Apex Legends. I'll also be diving into some NVIDIA control panel optimizations that I believe will help with the better visuals and better performance for your game. And if you find any of this information helpful, please consider leaving a like on the video and let's go ahead and hop right into the settings. Okay, so to start things off, let's move into the gameplay tab. For interact prompt style, you're going to want compact instead of default. This will help reduce the amount of space that the little box pops up on your screen. For button hints, unless you're new to the game, you probably should just have this off. It's not really needed. For crosshair damage feedback, you want this set to off. Having this on only increases visual clutter. So that little X that pops up right there is just not really needed. As you can still see the target just as fine and know that you are hitting the target still. For damage numbers, you're going to want stacking. For damage numbers, you're going to want stacking in my opinion. This is honestly personal preference, but I know some people like floating in both. Uh, stacking just makes it a lot less visually cluttering. And also it tells you how much damage you've just done, which is better for comms. Pingo Pass, you want faded. Abitra is on. There's quite literally no reason to have this off. Uh, mini map rotation. This is personal preference, but I have mine on. Uh, weapon auto cycle went empty. This one honestly doesn't matter either. I just have it on. Auto sprint, you want this to off. The reason why you want this off, especially if you play Maggie, is because there's a slight delay when readying the weapon when you have this on. So it's just better to have this off and get used to just toggling sprint yourself. Double tap sprint, I've always just had this off. Dep jetpack control, you want this set to hold. It gives you more control over Valkyrie's jetpack. Income damage feedback, I have mine set to 2D. This helps reduce the amount of visual clutter that you get when being shot at. So always down for that. This setting right here is incredibly important. Taking damage, closes death boxes, or crafting menu. You need to have this off. I don't even know why this is a setting. Uh, especially if you're on controller, you're definitely going to want to have this off as you already have difficulties looting. If you still have this on, this will make it a lot harder for you to loot as every time you're shot, you will get kicked out of the box and you'll have to go back in. Pop up, pop up. You want this off. Streamer mode, this honestly up to you. I don't really feel like there's a need to it unless you're like Tifu or Nick Burks. Anonymous mode, honestly, I still just have this off. Don't really find a need for it. Usage searing, I have this disabled. Turning this on actually does reduce or increase the load on your GPU. So I just turn it off. Uh, performance display, I have this on. That way I know my frames are dropping. Club invites, I this honestly doesn't matter. Uh, communication filter, this is a new setting that they added to where whoever can talk to you, uh, you can have this toggle to friends only or nobody. I just have this set to everybody because I talk to everyone. Uh, customized reticle. Uh, this is the reticle settings that I use right now. 210, 190, and 17. Uh, when you pair that with Tritonopia for my colorblind, you get a very bright yellow color. Uh, I like using this as Olympus for some reason. Whenever you're using blue or red, it seems like the reticle kind of blends in too much with the map. So I choose to use this yellow. Subtitles off quite literally no reason to have this on it can help with your comms that way You know, you can hear what each legend is saying, but honestly, you just got to pay attention uh, Subtitle size obviously doesn't matter uh, And that'll be it for the gameplay section. So on to mouse and keyboard uh, for my mouse sensitivity I play at 1600 dpi as of recently and 0.7 in game sensitivity I don't change any of my ADS multipliers currently. I haven't really found a need for it yet. So I just use 1.0. Mouse acceleration, you need to have this off as this will throw off your shot. Mouse invert, also have this off and lighting effects. I don't really think that matters. So I just have it off. Uh, one key setting that you do need to have as tap strafing is still not yet removed or nerfed is you need to have your scroll wheel set to move forward, either up or down. Most players use up as score wheel down is commonly the bunny hop secondary bind. So that's why you're going to want to have this probably on up. But if you choose to have it on down, it, that's honestly just up to you. Uh, sprint set to left shift. That's pretty usual. Uh, you want to have a toggle and a and a hold uh, for crouch. This is because in certain scenarios where like if you're going to super glide, most people like to use the toggle for their super glide. Uh, and you want to have the hold one because it's better for crouch spamming. And I guess really the only other nuance setting I have is my tactical ability is set to my mouse. I feel like this gives me much better control over my movement. So this is why I use this on to controller. Uh, really not going to be a section on this because I don't play controller. I did when I started playing, but uh, I no longer play on controller. So we're just going to skip this on to video settings. Honestly, one of the most important parts of the video right here, because this is going to give you your best performance, your best visuals uh, that you need in order to play this game. 
So if you're using a G-Sync monitor, you're going to want to have full screen on. You should have this on regardless as it helps give you more frames and it's better for stability. For aspect ratio, I use the native 16 by nine and my resolution is 2560 by 1440 as I play in 1440p. Uh, but most of you, you'll probably see 1920 by 1080. For brightness, I use 55. I think anywhere between 55 and 60 is fine. You can even go up to 65 if you really need to, uh, but I adjust the rest of my brightness settings in my control panel and my monitor. Filter view, you're gonna want anywhere from 100 to 110 in my opinion. I know some people like to say you should use anywhere from 90 to 110, but I do think 90 is just too zoomed in. Uh, so you're gonna wanna have this to set to 110. FOV scaling, you want this disabled. This is whenever you're using it Bloodhound's Alt or Octane Stim, it'll actually set your FOV to 120, which will actually change the way your sensitivity feels, so it's better to have this turned off. Uh, Sprint View Shake, again, don't know why this is even a thing. You want to have this set to minimal. V-Sync, you want this turned off. NVIDIA Reflex, you want Enabled Plus Boost. Anti-Aliasing, this one's going to be personal preference. What this does is when you turn it on, it smooths out your game, so everything looks a little bit smoother. Uh, honestly, I like the more jagged edges as it feels like for me, I can see the targets better. I can make dif distinct differences between, you know, a target and a rock whenever they're head glitching or anything like that. So I like to use it. It kind of blurs it out when you don't. Texture streaming budget, I have mine set to very low. Honestly, this is just so I can get the most frames possible. Uh, I could go a little bit higher, but again, I want the most frames possible without any stutters. Uh, texture filtering, I have set to bilinear. Ambient occlusion quality, I have mine set to disabled. Uh, sun shadow and sun shadow detail for coverage and detail, I have mine set both to low. Spot shadow de detail disabled, volumetric lighting disabled, dynamic spot shadows disabled. All of these help reduce the load on your GPU. So you're gonna want to have this disabled in order to get the best performance. Model detail, you want this set to low. Effects detail also set to low. This is really important because this game does have a lot of visual clutter. So you want to make sure that you will reduce that as much as possible from like explosions and thermites and things like that. Impact marks, again, you don't need this on. This, what this does is creates bullet holes into the walls. There's no reason to have that on. Uh, and ragdolls, you will also want that set to low. For audio settings, I have my Push to talk enabled. Uh, my open mic threshold is set up a little bit that way. Uh, I feel like whenever you don't have this turned up a little bit, they have quite a problem hearing you uh, in game chat. So I just kind of use this. My incoming chat is set to 100%. Sound effects set to 71. Dialogue is turned down to 58. Music, I usually would have this off, but sometimes I like to have it on. And lobby music volume I have set to 19. Uh, sounds in background, I have this turned off. This is if you're windowed out and uh, play incoming game chats, text-to-speech, have these both turned off. This next section of the video is gonna be exclusive to PC players, so anyone on console, I apologize, these are just not settings that you have available for you, uh, but these are just some optimizations to help you get better performance out of your PC, so let's go ahead and get right into them. Before we get into that, I do wanna talk about one setting for everyone who plays on keyboard and mouse. What you're gonna do is you're gonna type in mouse settings, and then when you get to this screen, you're gonna to want to come down here to additional mouse settings. I'm on Windows 11 now, so it may look a little different for you, but it should probably be a little blue tab right here like this that says additional mouse settings. You're gonna click this, and then right here, you're going to want to make sure that you have enhanced pointer precision you want this turned off. This is gonna put mouse acceleration on. I think the way Apex works is that it'll override that anyway, so you don't have it unless you have the setting turned on in Apex, but just to be sure, it's just good to have this off anyway. Now we're gonna go into your NVIDIA control panel settings. Things first, you're gonna want to go to adjust image settings with preview and check this middle one right here that says use advanced 3D image settings. What that'll do is it'll allow you to customize your image settings, which we are going to do here. I'm gonna scroll slowly and just copy and paste the settings that I have. Pause anywhere that you need to. Once you've completed that, you're gonna have an option down here to apply. So just go ahead and apply your new settings. And then we're gonna come over here to display. 
While on display, you want to make sure that you have the highest resolution available or the one that you prefer under the PC section. You don't want to use this Ultra HD section as this require or as this causes a lot of screen delay and stuttering and things like that. You just don't want to do it. You also can't use uh, your highest refresh rate when you use this either. So you want to have make sure that you're set right here on 2560 by 1440 and you have your highest refresh rate selected. After that, we're going to go to adjust desktop color settings and you're going to turn up your brightness more than likely uh depending on where you have yours already i have mine set to 62. i left my contrast alone as i kind of like it where it is and i turned up my digital vibrance into 60. this is going to give you a lot better color accuracy and it's going to make your colors pop a lot more in apex which will help you spot people better one more quick setting you want to make sure you come up here to configure surround physics and you want to make sure that under processor that you have your graphics card selected you don't want to have it set to auto select as that might make your cpu be the one that is dictating your physics you want the processor to be your graphics card now the last setting that we're going to do is we're going to come into either steam or origin whichever one you are using and you want to right click and go to properties here you'll see under the general section that you have a few launch options. This is where we used to put the custom crosshairs for our reticles to get the neon colors. But since that's been removed now, the only two options that I use are an auto exec and my max FPS. I've been kind of messing around with some FPS ranges, but I have mine set to 209 currently. I'm not sure if this is going to cause any screen stuttering. I heard it does, so I'm testing it out right now. But prior to this, I was using 190. But that'll be it for all the settings for season 12. Honestly, believe these to be some of the best settings that you can find out there. And if you guys enjoyed the video or found any of this information helpful, please consider leaving a like and comment as that helps me out in the algorithm. And if you want to further support my channel, you can go ahead and subscribe and turn on post notifications. That way you get notified every time I upload a new video. That'll be it for now. I'll see you guys in the next one.